Hi, this is Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Welcome to part 12 of how to use face reading to boost your communication skills. Now, ideally you want to have a competitive edge, a competitive advantage, and having these insights can help you to achieve it. Well, you have two of them, we all have two of them, but not many of us exercise them enough. Yes, you've guessed it. Let's talk about the ears. What do your ears tell you? Well, normally the ears provide information about someone's courage and ability to accept a challenge. They inform you about someone's zest and enthusiasm for life itself. Now, hard of hearing people can tell you just how crucial the ears can be. If asked, how are you? And they reply by looking at their watch and saying something like a quarter past three, people will think they've lost the plot. Well, maybe I've lost the plot. So what should you pay attention to? I'll be talking about the position, the size, the shape, and those earlobes, those playful little earlobes. But be mindful, body language people will tell you that tugging and playing with the earlobes suggests someone is uncomfortable with the situation. It's seen as a way of blocking out words. You can often see this in people who are anxious or people who are not strictly telling the truth. So let's begin with the position of the ears. Where exactly are the ears situated? The higher up the head the ears are positioned, the more connected a person will be to the mental as well as the emotional zone. The lower the ears are positioned, the more connected they will be to the physical as well as the emotional zone. Take a look. With high set ears there's likely to be a predominance of mind energy and mental activity. You can expect this person to be analytical, precise and imaginative. They will listen, but generally they stick to their own point of view. Now with lower set ears, these people are realistic and cautious and have the common sense to do the right thing in a difficult situation. They are more compassionate, understanding and willing to help others. And they also have a great physical vitality. Now what about the size of the ears? Now large ears suggest wisdom. You can expect these people to be kind, receptive and generous to other people. You know, but they can be risk takers. Now small ears belong to a person who wants to fit in. They want to please others. They often have a strong tendency to follow the rules. Take a look. Large ears can extend into the mental, the emotional and the physical zones. These people are highly sensitive to sound. They are anchored to the present mentally and physically. Now small ears people respond mainly to their own personal needs. They tend to trust themselves foremost. They are not generally a good listener. Now the shape of the ear. Here we need to observe in which zone is the greatest development of the ear, the parts of the ear that really are prominent and in what particular zone as well as the emotional zone. Here's a summary. Ears that are well developed and wide in the upper face reveal a greater energy devoted to intellectual pursuits. They are comfortable taking a risk. Ears that are well developed across the middle section suggest a greater emotional emphasis. These people are secure in starting and ending relationships. Is it a more prominent in the lower part are people with a greater physical courage and bravery. They are usually stable and secure. Now what about the earlobes? Now we know primarily they're in the emotional zone, but they can extend into the physical zone. Here's a summary. Large earlobes can indicate spirituality and emotional sensitivity. These people have a great understanding of other people's needs. Now a person with no earlobes is likely to be more physically cautious. They do not take unnecessary risks. Now earlobes that hang down indicate independence. And earlobes that are attached suggest a strong attachment to family and friends. By the way, People with ears that are towards the back of the head, these are people who want to project their personality onto the outside world. They project themselves forward. 
There really are people full of zest and enthusiasm and want to get their point understood, listened to and acted upon. Now people with ears that stick out, you are probably facing someone with a rebellious nature. These people want change. Now ears that are flat to the side of the head, this is a person who will accept the rules, they will conform to the status quo. So that completes part 12. Thanks for your time. If you get the chance, visit my website, knowyourmind.com and my blog, mikevalley.com. Please subscribe to my channel so you will know where the next video is available. I've got some more, I think, interesting stuff coming very shortly. Always remember, you have many faces, so let's put them to use. Let's begin to recognize the ears on what people may be trying to tell us. And of course, be mindful. The face says, this is who I am. So before we chat again, take care. Bye for now.